In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transform a smart object, a smart object made of an image as well as an adjustment layer. And also, I'm going to do another one with a picture that I've opened and add an adjustment layer and then apply a transformation to that. So, just going to run through that. First thing to do, just going to create a gradient, very basic. Now, your toolbar may be slightly different. I've customized it, so I've added a few and removed a few things. So, so I'm just going to quickly create a design there. So, once I've done that, now, if I go to layers, just drag over there, you'll see it's just a background layer. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to add, go to a layer and new adjustment layer. And I'm going to go for hue and saturation. The reason I'm choosing this, because I had a question about this. And this is why I'm doing this video, because they were saying it doesn't seem to work. Transformation doesn't work. Well, I thought quickly demonstrate that it does. Hopefully, it will give a clue to why it doesn't work on theirs. So sometimes it's the case, of course, there's just some setting or something that's different, and it's always nice to quickly show that. So new layer. So I've now got this hue and saturation. So lots of history there, and where's the layers gone? There's the layers. And if you can't see the layers, there's window and layers there. So you can see that. So what I want to do, I'm just going to combine it. But I'm obviously I'll just modify it. Let's just go to properties, again, window and properties. And you can change obviously a few things. Like obviously a very garish colour change there, but just change it slightly or maybe go for grayscale. Let's go for grayscale. So select both. So both are selected. And then you can go to layer and smart objects, convert to smart object. There you go, it's a smart object. Now just go over here, just go to the move tool, and you can see I've got the bounding box selected there for show transform controls. That's what you need to do. So you've got auto select and also show transform controls set on your layer and group there. So as long as that setup is the same, you should see these transform controls. <laughs> now, of course, sometimes it doesn't show and you think, mm. however, it should be there. So once you've done that, what you can do, you can see this layer now is a smart object. It's got a little smart object there. So I've converted it to smart object. And it's weirdly it calls it human saturation one. It'd be nice if it called it the layer name. But I suppose because it was background, it didn't do that. And then you can just transform it. So you can move that, rotate it. And also you can go to the transform controls and maybe use warp and just warp that design. And obviously at that point, the human saturation as well as the underlying layer is also change. And of course, you can always edit it later as well. So go there, and now you suddenly think, well, I've got that design. What I can do, I can double click on that, and it will come up. Just a little thing I don't show again. Well, I must admit, I always end up clicking that, and it always seems to come back. So uh, it's, uh, I'm certain it will reappear. So you've got your design there. So what you can do, you can modify the human saturation. I'm on that layer. Now I'm in the document, so it's a PSP file, it's not the one that I had here. So go to the background, I can change that, maybe change the gradient, add another. Now I'm using difference, so you can see you've got there blending mode. It doesn't have to use that, you could use anything, you could use brush strokes or maybe custom shape, just something to create a quick design that's a layer that can be modified. And you can go to the hue and saturation. As soon as you select that, you can see this panel, just change that. If you can't see the panel, just double click on it. it, should bring up the panel. And you can just change it, all those things, and I'll maybe I'll push that up. There, once done that, close it, save, and then of course when you go back, you can see your design there. So now I'm just going to go to, and that's to show transform works with that. Now I've obviously got an image here, and again I can go, this is just an open image, so I just went to file and open, and with that, I'm just going to add a layer layer and new adjustment layer. I could also add another layer, so just to show you, demonstrate that it works with another one as well. Uh, just gradient, if you're reasonable, click OK, and you can see a gradient there. Modify that, and maybe add another one, layer, and I could add an adjustment layer, so add a couple. Vibrance, so and change that, saturation, you can see subtle change, of course you've got that gradient in between. And also I'm going to go for another one. So layer and new adjustment layer. 
and photo filter just as good as any just select something I'll like change that color there so you can see your design there and now you've got obviously a lot of layers there well, four <laughs> so you can select all of those select all of them and then go to a layer smart objects and convert to smart object so that's been converted to smart object and now what you can do you can go over here again to the move tool and then edit and transform if you want to do that or just use the controls here to transform now you can move that around so key thing show transform controls so edit transform and rotate and rotate there now the one thing in this version i'm just going to stop now you can actually go to layer and you've got smart objects and you've got an option here reset transform so you can actually reset it so if i go reset transform it should and it does put it back to basically what it was beforehand so just gonna do that again and again you can go for maybe warp edit and transform and warp that and like that but also what you can do you can also go and add another layer so i'm just going to add another layer so uh this time some type uh warped warp design nothing original i'm just going to just add some type and just resize that bit put that there now of course i'd probably make it probably best to put it white so you can actually see it against that there and you've got that so what you can do then you can select that and that so both the type layer as well as the smart object they're all selected now what you can do then is go to layer and smart object and convert to smart object so it's all converted into another smart object and the thing about smart objects you can always just double click on those and then edit the individual smart objects all the way back to the original design but you can also go to edit and transform and maybe distort this time so you can distort that design there and maybe go to and use those as well you've still got the option show transform control so you can rotate that do that and of course what you can also do you can hold down the alter option key and you can duplicate that design maybe rotate that maybe add so that's a layer layer style so drop shadow shadow there so got a drop shadow and then select both of those and then go to layer and smart objects convert to smart object so it's all converted to one single smart object and again edit and transform and this time maybe warp so you can then warp that design again you can create all kinds of different designs like that. Press return. So yeah, just running through the transform and smart objects. So that's uh, for images as well as obviously images that you've created within Photoshop. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, obviously 221, also Illustrator, Finity Photo, Finity Designer, Painter, Critter, and many others. Also, please add some comments, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.